when I was uh, with with Nelly in the St. Lunatics, Nelly was like, yo, man, I got me pimp, man. I got me. He had to meet him. I got me pimp, man. Pimp had just got home. He was like, get away yet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. When earlier you were mentioning Tupac, and I was curious about something because I know you're very, you know, mm -hmm. great friends with him. And I, okay, have Tupac, to your knowledge, ever been in a room to meet Pimp C face to face? I see you said Pimp C. I'm a big Pimp C fan. Well, that no. shut, the, that shut no. the whole thing down. See, see, you know what I'm saying? See, <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all, um, you know, um, I never got to put them together. Mm. I never got to put them together. Um, Cause I know they loved each other. Yeah, they did. Man, Pac was well, Pimp, Pac Pimp, was Pimp was a Pop, bro. He was a fanatic. fanatic. He was a fanatic right. Pop. Like he he understood everything Pop was on, and he wanted to be that great. He wanted mm. to be that striking. And um, I never got to get them together. You know, during those times, it was just such a wild time during those times. Cause. Mm. They, I was going back and forth to New York. Like, I, I would go and meet with Jai Records with UGK. Mm. Just me, Pimp, and Wendy Day. Really? Yeah, we used to go, we, we used to go and handle, he was like, Gip, come sit with me with Jai, with Wendy Day. And I used to go, me and Pimp would go up to New York and ride the, go to Flatbush, Brooklyn, and they was like, what Gip and Pimp C doing on the train? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I just think that, uh, Nah, as far as a, pr I'm gonna tell you, one of the the the, the hookups that that really meant a lot. Uh, when I was uh, with with Nelly and the Saint Lunatics, Nelly was like, "Yo, man, I got me pimp, man. I got me." He had to meet him. I got me pimp, man. Pimp had just got home. He was like, "Get away yet?" I'm in L. A. And I mean, he flew to L. A. He said, I said, man, Nelly want to meet you. He said, man, that boy want to meet me, man. <laughs> <laughs> he said, man, I'll be around there in a minute, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so be, he came to the studio, man. I mean, he brought Nelly a, he brought Nelly a UGK t-shirt, man. And wow. Boy, it made Nelly day, man. That, wow. that night, man. Pimp came in there. He was, he had his shit on. Yeah, yeah. He was doing it, wasn't he? He had his shit on, man. He was, <laughs> man, he was doing his shit, man. Like, it, was, it, was, it was sweet Jane Jones in there like, that night. <laughs> and Nelly got to meet him. He got to meet his hero. He was like, man, like, dude, man, that dude, everything that I thought he would be. And I said, one thing about Pimp, it was the passion. It was his passion that made him different. You know, Bon been quiet. Bon was always like the silent killer. Like, like Bon big bro, that little bro. So Bon gonna sit back like big bro and be like, I'm, I'm gonna be quiet now. Shawty crank it up, I'm gonna get in, but I'm gonna be quiet. Mm -hmm. But Shawty man, like, Bon moved here, Bon was with me. Bon called me and said, Man, pimp about to move to Atlanta, man. I remember that. I'm, I'm, I'm moving back to Texas. <laughs> <laughs> he said, and pimp, he moved back, and pimp came here, and boy, he went out to the north side, got a big old mansion, man. We were kicking it, got the, the bin, next thing I know, he was like, man, I want you to meet these two little boys I got from Baton Rouge. I said, oh, it is. He said, Boots, way up it. And they walked in the room. They were little bit. They were they were little bitty. They were little bitty guys. When I met both of them, they were still children. Your impression is so good of him. Oh. <laughs> I love your I, we we did it. So we we did it, baby. Like me and him. Like we we. That, if it wasn't Bun, it would give it. And uh, he um he always uh he knew he knew the impact he had. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.